Hi guys, welcome back to Tev Rubber Gaming. I'm Ed, and today is the final episode. Well, final games of the regular season, season five, FC Os, episode eight. Uh, it might go to nine. Not sure. Let's get into it. So if you watched the last episode, you'll know that we... I'm having to look at the results, I always have to do this, it's so ridiculous. We lost to Ajax and beat Camber. Uh, very definitive result there, so that's good. I've only noticed in editing afterwards that uh, the Feyenoord and Heracles Heracles game... I recorded them, but clearly didn't record them properly because they didn't record. So I lost the youth intake as well, so I'm kind of just doing a little highlights thing for those two and the youth intake. Uh, finished off the highlights for 3.5 as well, so you would have seen that by now. I didn't want to do it for every single gap this season because it would have been a bit much. But first few games just so you can see some things. And then obviously final and Heracles because I missed them entirely. So yeah, two big games today. Uh, go Ahead sit in 11th and Vitesse sit in 8th. That's the one I fear, but a win against Go Ahead means we will get into the playoffs for the European places. Still don't know how they work. So you might be figuring that out with me very shortly. So it turns out I wasn't even on the eve of the game, but I was just going to skip through quietly. But I am voting on Eredivisie Talent Van Het Jaar candidates. Assume that's Young Player of the Year, seeing as it has Jaar in it. And all these guys are really young. Can we vote for our players? We can. Darren Kane surely is going to win it, you'd hope. Or at least get very close. Uh, and then between Keenan and Sonner, well I'd choose Sonner any day, so let's go for that. Sonner in second, and Keenan in third. Confirmed. Also, he's apparently on the verge of Erdovizie assists landmark as well. He has got 12 to his name, and the record is 14. I guess it's only since the start of the game, because I don't think they track it from pre existing stats. I don't think assists have been around that long in terms of uh, well, being tracked, so yeah, Ugh, I don't care, leave me alone. You might also notice I'm a tiny bit further away today, just while I'm not, I've still not had a huge amount of time to learn the new software because I'm still trying to get as far ahead as possible with recording. Um, so I don't yet know how to like reduce, the, well I, I know how to reduce noise on most editing software, but it's a completely different package to the actual normal video editing one so yeah it's um it's a bit of an unknown so laptop's a bit loud so i've just moved myself away a little bit also works well, quite nicely you see more of my lovely shirts it's a tenor from primark i don't know when primark ended up being so expensive but um yeah i like it so here we are for the game so we are away at go ahead uh i'll run through the team quickly and then talk about the changes we made so moose single we've got hassan azevedo maxwell and vasquez at the back Van Buren and Keane in the middle, Silver and Sonor on the wings, Marta and Kane up front. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to play Tashkin, simply because he's a little better and he's likely to still be here beyond the end of next season. And Van Buren in the middle is there because Olate is suspended. Hopefully it's only one game. Yeah, it's just one. Birmingham is suspended for a game as well. So that's that. Van Buren came through the Youth Academy. I think I brought him up last episode. Um, was rated at... <laughs> nothing insignificant like he's not going to make it he's been out on loan he's sat in the under 18s and he's actually developed a bit so i'm going to give him a bit of a bit of time here max atkin i think your contract is up in the next season yeah so i don't again it's sort of choosing those that are likely to be here longer but yeah let's get into it so go ahead playing the exploit tactic the 4-3-3 uh van buren is struggling a little bit i think he had an under 18s on under 19s whatever it is these days game but, yeah, uh, I'll start him. I'd rather start a player who's lacking fitness than bring someone on who's going to struggle. In fact, there's a few players on the bench struggling a bit, uh, including Van der Berg, who's a new face as well. So he's another left-back that's come through the academy. So, yeah, exciting left-backs coming through, but that's about it. Um, Keenan on the, the edge of the box. Gives it to Kane, who's come a bit deeper. Son on the left, he's going to cross it. He... Pulls it back for Kane, who puts it into the bottom left corner. That is a perfect start. We needed that. We really needed it. So yeah, Keenan, as always, pulling the strings in the middle. Kane comes deep. Technically, it's a one-two. But how... I mean, he's just dropped off a little bit towards the penalty spot there, so Sona can find the pullback. He does, and we go one nil up. This game is vital. Um, yeah, like I said, a win here. Vitesse can't catch us then, because our goal difference is too good. 
so let's just let's hope for the best I'm watching all those ups and downs on the table as well because if we finish third then we don't have to go through this European playoff silver free kick from the left crosses it and, and Azevedo puts it just over the bar something else I noticed pre-game as well was that the left back for go ahead actually was appearing as an inverted wing back uh, which if true Silva should take advantage of in this game because he will stay nice and wide in fact you can kind of see it there I was going to point at the screen but he's coming really close sorry I just had a little fizzy drink which is silly yeah really close to the other centre back so Silva's got a lot of room there to cross so we might try and exploit that flank a bit later on but Van Buren with a great ball out to Son who just about keeps it in well then gives it straight away but I'm feeling positive I'm feeling good Oh, well, I was saying that go ahead th not quite through. it was a terrible clearance from Maxwell though and they've got a chance to cross it now and do and <sighs> nightmare absolute nightmare I mean even during their highlight there I feel like we were looking more likely to do something with it and we're straight on one in fact so Kane on the left crosses it in Keenan is there and gets it into the far corner with a header yes Puts it back where it came from. Absolutely love headed goals just in general. My absolute favourite. Like a nice powerful header is better than anything else in my book. And it's a talent to know which header to use and when. Obviously then he had to put it back where it came from. But that's a great header. Came with his 13th assist of the season. Uh, I think he scored 25 now. I think it's scored 25 assists, 13. So he needs two more assists to break that assist record. Um, I assume he's quite a way off the goals record it started so well but then he got injured and it's just not quite worked out but apart from their goal obviously it's, it's a really good first half so I'm going to say I'm pleased and just leave it at that for now so we're back with the highlight go ahead throw him from the left play it around a bit we're not really closing him down but there's a good challenge remember and clears it to Marta or Kane drops it for Marta Kane is running through but can't get onto the ball Sonna now gives it to Marta who is midway through their half we play it back wide but it's not the best ball to Vasquez and go ahead clear it up the line themselves looking to exploit our flanks which is interesting uh, it looks like they're in another good crossing position there's another goal carbon copy aside from it's on the on the deck rather than in the air which is a shame um yeah, much to do. You might notice I'm trying to do a couple little cuts during the highlights and things. If there's nothing going on, I'm not speaking. Uh, my next series, I'm hoping to have a lot more streamlined. So I'm sort of practicing for that a little bit. Right, with 66 minutes gone, I think it's time for some changes. Burn is struggling badly. Uh, so survivor can come for him. We're just going to do the classic thing we always do here. Uh, you can be a deep liar on support. Who else is struggling? Mars is really struggling, but Mars has just not really shown up. Varela often does quite a lot of events, so I'll give him a shot. And we will throw on... We're trying to apply at left back. He's not, he, I don't think he's ever played left back for us, to be completely honest. Um, obviously, I've retrained him as a winger, and I don't think he's ever played there. But it might be useful to have someone who can attack on that side. Not that I'm making use of him at all. In fact, I'm going to adjust that now because 15 minutes ago, nothing has changed from that. So you become a complete wing back on attack. Survivor, so I'm going to put you as a deep player on defend to cover that off a bit. I'm just going to try and go for this a little bit because I really want that win. I haven't seen the table for a while. I'm not looking at the table. I'm trying not to look at the table. Uh, do I exploit the flank? No, I'm going to keep it as is. In fact, let's take a quick gander at the table now. Vitesse are four points behind, so they are losing and VVV in third are now winning so we need the goal here to give us a chance on that final day really even then it'll be a long shot but nothing is happening with 10 minutes to go let's just go for the classic attacking and go ahead have a free kick the wall blocks it and then for whatever reason Kane doesn't go for it but if he can get it here nab it absolutely hoof it, hoof it, hoof it, hoof it, hoof the ball Silver on the right he's got loads of time what's he do? he puts it straight to the keeper no that just took so long that counter attack took too long to get started and time's ticked away that's my child so yes disappointing we dropped to 7th which is ridiculous when you look at how well our season started. Now being seventh place is an absolute aberration. Again, I would have taken this at the start of the season. We're in the European playoffs though, as you'll see, because Vitesse in eighth are three points behind us. Well, we're not mathematically in there. 
we've got a plus 15 goal difference so we need an eight goals they need to beat us by eight goals to go through um and it's just not going to happen i think it might even be head to head but, but they'd definitely win it if they got that though uh so yeah i'll just see you there um yeah Right, so after all that, we are back for the next game. I'm going to be a bit quieter because my daughter is having a nightmare. She's about 14, 15 months old. I think she's going through a bit of sleep regression, but so she does not want to be put down. She doesn't want to sleep. So, yeah, I'll be a bit quieter. So, I've done a bit of research behind the scenes because obviously it's the final game of the season at the Tess, against the Tess, sorry, we're at home at the Tess. What am I on about? I'm very confused. Basically, I think I'm going to just click through here. Basically, I think. If we finish fourth, we will bypass the playoffs, I think. But, it's a big but. <laughs> if you look at the table, which you will see in a second, PSV, Ajax and Feyenoord all stand in our way of doing that. And not only that, but Vasquez is out injured for today's game. Um, so, Birmingham is back in at right back. Olato is back in at defensive mid. Van der Linden has come in at left back because Vasquez is injured for about... I can't remember how long it is. It's at least, like... He's going to miss the rest of the season. I remember that much. So yeah, a win here would be nice. Because I, I'm pretty sure fourth will go straight into a... A third round tie in Europe. Qualifying tie. I'm nervous. But we do... We are requiring three teams above us to all fail. And they're all quite good. So it's not very likely. But let's see how we get on. So this highlight is still going on. We kind of just built from the back. We played it forward to Sonner, who's giving it to Kane on the left, who crosses it in. They head it out, but not very far. Silver, another chance to cross in now, which he does. And Sonner steals in at the back post and scores a lovely goal. I was hoping, I'm still hoping Kane gets the couple of assists he needs to come, like, get the all-time record, but it's not to be this time anyway. So we currently sit in sixth, still which is, I say still, I think we've actually gone up, but it's an absolute outrage we're in sixth. A couple of big challenges go in there. Players fall all over the place, but Vitesse have it on the right wing. Find it on the edge of the box. They are into the box, and that's into the corner. Ah, how annoying. I'm really hoping the microphone's not having a horrible time me speaking here as well, but I guess I'll find out once the episode's done. So sorry if the audio is terrible. Right, so we're back with it. Silver released down the right-hand side. Crosses it low. Sonner is there. Hits the post again. I say again, Sonner's at the back post again. Hits the post and just falls perfectly for Darren Kane to score another goal. That's his 27th of the season. So it was a bit of a weird start. You can see the start of it here. Van der Linden just a free kick and smashes it wide. Um, Dog was moaning to go out. It's just been a really interrupted episode today. So it comes off the post and Kane just taps it in. Uh, so yeah, we're two points behind... Feyenoord I don't know if PSV and Feyenoord and Ajax are all playing each other or something I need to find that out because if they are then there's not really much of a chance we can do anything here nice see Olate back in the side though we just haven't quite been full strength for the last couple of months of the season it's really shown to be honest uh, Keenan picks up in the middle from a deflection Sonner's tackle for the second time in the space of about 5 seconds they clear up the pitch Van der Linden does get a foot in. I really like the look of Van der Linden. He might be the new Vasquez next season. Just needs a lot more game time. I haven't given him enough this season, but he's got the potential to be really good. Uh, Kane down the left now. What can he do? He crosses it in low. Keenan's there. That's 3 1. I think Keenan now gets like a five grand goal, goal bonus as well. <laughs> Tongue teasers. Five grand goal bonus. There we go. So perfect. So Kane is now joint level with the all time assists for the Eredivisie, at least in the four full seasons they've been so far. Let's have a look at some of these games. So Ajax are playing Addo Den Haag, Final are playing Eindhoven, and PSV are playing Excelsior. The only team that are causing issues at the moment, oh, I don't know, I haven't got it up, but Final are winning, the other two are drawing. So I'll have a look at what the points are looking like in a second. Because I think one of them was on 58. I think two of them were on 58 actually and one of them was on 60. Uh, so let's pause it for a quick second. So yeah, PSV are on 58 points. Final order on 57 at the start of play then. 
I don't know what's going on, I'm very confused. Basically, we just need PSV and Feyenoord to concede some goals, and that'd be nice. I think PSV were drawing. There might not be any more. Uh, Kane again down the left now. Uh, <laughs> um, wary about being too close to Mike. There's the assist record for Darren Kane. That looked horrendously out of play to me. I sort of stopped because I thought he'd just run out, and I was wondering what got on with the highlight. Son on the left. A lot of our attacks come down the left, don't they? Kane. Let's just say match engine. Because he's kind of... He's running away, but chips it back. I don't know how he's done it, but I'm happy. And the corner comes in, which I wasn't commentating on because I'm getting the hang of this. Commentating, occasional malarkey, occasionally commentating. Get my words out. Uh, but it came in, and I don't really know what happened. A lot of picked up yellow, so he's actually suspended. For the next game, which is highly annoying, we're going to Burn for some more game time. Have I can come on for Sonner. And who needs more game time here? All of them, really. Andrew Ives can come on for as a veto. Just kind of freshen things up, wrap a couple of players in Cotton Wall. As you can see, we are still just where we were in the league. We're still sixth. Uh, I might pull up other... Well, I'm not going to bother. It is what it is. I've kind of accepted that it would take a remarkable turn of events now for us to not finish in the European playoff spots. Uh, Moose has the ball kicked straight at him from close range, that's nice. And we are 10 minutes to go, and doesn't look like there's anything remarkable happening elsewhere, which is a shame. So, two and a half minutes left of injury time, nothing's changed in the league as far as I've seen. Vitesse looks like it might be getting a highlight, I'd like to keep it at 4-1 if I can, obviously score more. I've got something about a 4-2 result, I don't know what it is, but it just, the look of it really annoys me. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Vitesse playing through the middle. Ives clears it. Marta tries to get his head on it and fails. It's coming back. John Obi Mikel. Still very strange. Plays it through. Moose gets his hands on something that's turned out to be a goal kick. I assume they just failed from the corner. But it's about a minute to go of injury time. Uh, we have hoofed it. Has it gone out of play? It has. If this is the end of the game, they're really dragging this out. It's about 20 seconds. They've just won a corner, so this will tick down to a few seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't score now. Moose saves. <sighs> and that's the end of our regular season. Our first full season in the Eredivisie. Delighted with the score at the end there. I'm obviously upset at our massive capitulation towards the end of the season. <laughs> Because the other t everyone else didn't, no one else has done that well, really. I mean, even here in Veen haven't got two points a game. We're only eight points off the title, despite our best efforts to throw away everything. Yeah, Ajax drew, Final Order won, PSV drew. So that's it. So hopefully it will come up with who we're playing in a minute, and we will figure it out. Right, so as you can see, we have got PSV. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, everyone who I could have drawn is bad. Let's see the full draw. Oh, okay, so actually, there was nothing for fourth. So that's kind of annoying, really, that it pretended there was. I don't know what's going on. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's have a quick look at PSV. So ignoring the top result, because that's when we were back in the, uh, the good old days of the Juppa League. Feels so long ago. Neil Montgomery scored. Wow. Um... We beat them 2-0 away this season, and that's right, actually, I remember this. We drew 2 all. they scored a last-minute equaliser at home, although we came back within a minute, so, you know. So, actually, pretty positive. So, that'll be the next episode. Uh, European playoffs. We could be in the Europa League next year. I'm still annoyed that we're not there automatically, but nothing comes easy to us. But if you enjoyed that, please do like, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's more series coming away soon. I'm gonna be doing my Sonic 2 series soon, as well as I've I've already started planning my next FM18 series, which hopefully is just a bit more fun, a bit more streamlined, less me babbling. It's my first one, so give me a break. But yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers.